Hello. Well, hello. Is this evil Ebenezer? This is him in the uh, in the flash or on the phone at least. Nice, nice. This is Scott Wood. I'm calling from the interview show. Awesome. And hopefully, I'm going to interview you in just a minute. Okay, sounds good. So, what you up to? Um, I'm just watching some basketball, some college basketball, and um, I'm just doing some shit on the computer, just getting my shit ready for this tour and getting my ducks all in a row here. Who's your team? Who's your man? I don't know. I'm. I'm well, I don't know. I'm just. I'm just watching a couple games. I'm. I'm more just a fan of the sport. I don't. I don't really care about like you know. I'm not like a diehard like uh, you know a fan of like any particular team. I just was watching this Georgetown game. So um, just yeah, just just watching sports. Pretty much just what I do and keep my uh, keep my keep my pipe full. Good. Good. What's on the computer screen right now? I'm um, just on Facebook. Hold on, hold on. That doesn't sound very evil. <laughs> Let's pretend you didn't say that you were on Facebook. What okay. evil thing are you really doing? Um, geez, what am I doing? I, I, I can't even think of anything funny to say right now. Um, eating Hershey's Amandillos, maybe? That's pretty evil. Yeah. I spy with my evil eyes Something that's fly In the corner of my room Get up and say goodbye Cause the reasons you're leaving Ain't the same that you describe Calling me a big sock Saying I'm not the same guy That you thought I was But I am I think I should be it, I could be, why wouldn't I? See, this is what it's like, all the drugs and the booze and the years and excuses, wasting time making music. I'm trying to get above all this rubbish. Got no TV interviews coming up, no magazine coverage, no budgets, just the budget paying on a budget plan. Trying to get a buzz bubbling, yeah, that's what I am. Yeah, I did a couple tours and I seen a few spots. Pretty soon, I'ma have to twist up some new knots. Cause the baby's getting hungry, so you better run from me before I turn into the young Ted Bundy. Excuse me, I'm trying to get by ya. Yeah. I'm trying to get high ya. Yeah. You know I wouldn't lie to ya. Yeah. Well, actually, I might. Okay. Cause things ain't looking that tight. I need to get us in a better place. Trying to get the landlord off a case. Huh. At least for another week. Yeah. So we can back the phone and heat. It's all good. You know yeah. it's getting cool. It's laying on Yo. his feet. I yeah. got nothing to lose. But everything too If I lose, everybody gonna say that they knew Cause man, I spent too long trying to get this crack And broke my back trying to scrape up scraps from the back end Fuck a mansion, I'm a bachelor lamping I used to be handsome like a young Ted dancing Now my grades are coming through And my birthday's a brick now I wish I was a kid again, I murdered these kids out Sometimes I can't believe I'm still here Still breathing this green air Still pretending I still care Still remember welfare at Big T's Rapping in my room, having these big dreams Of being a big star and getting out this town But every time I get ahead, something bring me back down But there's gotta be a light here somewhere, I hope Cause I feel I'm at the end of my rope Excuse me, I'm trying to get by here yeah. I'm trying to get high here yeah. You know I wouldn't lie to you yeah. But actually I might, okay Cause things ain't looking that tight I, I need to get us in a better place Trying to get the landlord off a case huh? At least for another week, yeah Till we get back to the phone and heat It's all good, you know the scarecrow Always laying on his feet Yeah, yeah. scarecrow all alone Don't be scared, he's a wall of stone He just needs a little bit of love So baby, would you call him home? See the scarecrow all alone Don't be scared, he's a wall of stone he just needs a little bit of love So baby, would you call him home? Um, I heard the beat originally, uh, Mehdi had played it when he still lived up here in Vancouver and I had written something to it, but he didn't really like it. I kind of wrote it more about like an ex-girlfriend and, um, it was like, I don't know if, what it was, but it didn't get, it didn't give him the right vibe. So we, I, you know, that was it. And the song kind of got dumped. But then when I was down in LA, recording the trillionaires I, I was like you know that beat had come on again and i was like you know what i really still like to to mess with this beat um so so i again i wrote to it 
um, and I just sat rolling on his, on his little couch there down in uh, in Buena Park in in, in California, and uh, just kind of came just kind of came to me, and uh, um, just kind of with the feeling about it, of, of, you know, just trying to trying to get my shit straight and kind of kind of like I am, kind of down on myself, and and uh, you know, wishing things could be a, a lot better than they are, and um, trying my best, you know, to to try to get to a better place so this the song worked and he, and he really liked it and we just kept it real simple and uh um if we found that scarecrow sample um, at the end and that's from a tv show that i used to watch when i was a kid uh called uh, dr sin uh, the scarecrow of rodney marsh i believe it was on disney and um it was a really cool uh show i believe it was made in the 60s uh, in england and uh, it's about um uh, this, the, the Scarecrow and his kind of bandit guys, uh, kind of like a Robin Hood type guys that, that were uh, stealing from, uh, I, I forget what king it was at the time, and, uh, you know, giving the money to the poor people. So, yeah. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, the soldiers of the king fear his name. Scarecrow, on the southern coast of England. There's a legend. Yeah, I like I always like that show, so I put that sample on there. I keep that sample on in the record. I keep it on at shows too, and dance around to it and sing to it. People get a kick out of it. So yeah. All right. Well, welcome to the interview show. This is Scott Wood, your host, and today I have Evil Ebenezer on the line. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, free world. Uh, my name is Evil Ebenezer. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm a I'm a I'm a man about town. Now, for those who don't know you, can you give the secret origin of Evil Ebenezer? Well, um, I, I first started getting called Evil uh, Evil G um, back in uh, back in high school, uh, just you know, just pranking around on people at parties and stuff like this. And um, this actually was at a house party, and uh, this guy was puking, and, and everyone was laughing, and I was freestyling about him. And then uh, this one girl was like, "You're evil," and then. And then the name kind of stuck from there. And then um, I, I pretty much just, I needed a last name. Because, um, like, if you, like, you know, you search evil on the Internet or whatever, you know, George Bush comes up and, like, all this other crazy shit. So um, I, I just I just gave myself uh, gave myself that last name. I thought it fit quite nicely. And, um, yeah, just, uh, just been rolling with that. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, Evil Ebenezer. I like Ebenezer because it sounds like a crotchety old man. Yeah, he is, and um, it's kind of it, it, it is. He is kind of the old Ebenezer. He's uh, and 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 I'm kind of I'm kind of like that too. Um, I definitely um, I have I have my grumpy my grumpy kind of uh, dark side um, that that you can kind of hear in the music. Um, and uh, so I, yeah, it just it worked it worked out perfect. It's one of those things, right? You can't. You can't can't put too much into it, and you know it just it is what it is. You know, um, I like it, and uh, seem to, people seem to like it. So nice, nice. Now I've read that you're a little bit crotchety. So what's got you all upset today? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, just just like just like people's like lame conversations, or or like you know, like just like when my battery my batteries died on my iPod, and like and like I was, I was like had to had to bus uh, into work, and. Um, I was just like I had to like listen to like um, you know like these fifteen year old girls talk about like I don't even know what the hell they're talking about but just like there's annoying tones that uh, people talk about on the bus I guess I guess this I hate I hate just having to like listen to other people I wish I could have had something a little bit more profound trust me on other days there's there's definitely some things that that uh, that get my goat so. Um, That's okay. I think a lot of people out there are on your side. They're like, you know what? I hate hearing teenage girls yap as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it can never really. I mean, could it ever sound good or cool? I don't know. Probably not. No, no, it couldn't. No. Okay, so I was doing some research for this interview today. Yes. And in a lot of your press pictures, you're dressed up as a man of the cloth. Yeah, I know. I don't know how that happened. I don't know. I play with a lot of themes that have to do with with good and evil and um and uh you know uh whether that's you know you know with god and and the devil or or just the the, the struggles that we go on uh within ourselves of trying to trying to do the right thing um so I, I think it's kind of a um 
an interesting um, subject or whatever, and uh, I think it kind of looks kind of cool. Um, it, it's it's interesting um, to look at visually. So yeah, I don't know. It's cool. I'm I'm down with it. Um, I don't know if I I'll, I'll do it like uh, you know anymore because it's, I like to kind of keep things moving in in different directions. But um, definitely, um, you know, it's something that I did, and and I and I I think it's I think it's interesting. So. Hi, my name is Eva Lebenezer, and you. Let me try that again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Eva Lebenezer, and you are listening to the interview show. You know what's up, Ebenezer? Won't cook. Sometimes I just sit out here. Feels like no one even lives out here Wall to wall, blanket of light Taken from the blanket of light I can't sleep, I'm thankful to mice Who should have pattered through the attic in the middle of the night? Or under the porch, I'm under a force Feels like I'm being trampled under a horse They're down in the floor, under the boards Say your prayers, pray to the Lord Shh, quiet, close the door Under the bed there's more I wonder what they What's came here for I, What's it from the I get high to Spend all my days flying, all my nights I on you. Smoking chronic, sipping these potions, sitting out on my roof, just high as the moon. To the glue stick, shoot with a new stick I got some newness, but to you it's a nuisance You can see through me, I'm feeling kinda woozy Asking for aspirin, you can't outdo me Like the riots, walking on wires The cops fire rubber bullets that pass the buyers Holler at the bottle, forget about tomorrow Cause tomorrow is tomorrow, I like to welcome y'all to the hollow show I get high like the Under there, under there, in the crawl space, under the stairs, past that lighter. Yeah, I'm lighting the fire. I'm not a liar, I'm just pumping my own tires. In the blue and white lumber jacket, looking for a blunt package. What's up in the attic? A T3 for EV? Well, thank you very much. Got the vodka, mix it up with the berry punch. I'm lounging, watching Ghostbusters in my room. Well, the beats are pounding. The candles burning, turning it wheezy Resin getting greasy on my fingertips It looks like I'm bleeding yeah. My eyes are itchy, my girl won't kiss me Said my breath smell like cheap smoking whiskey Sigourney Weaver, nice to meet ya I go by the name of Mr. Ebenezer I'm kinda high now, better say bye now I'm tripping now, I think I better go lie down I think I better go lie down Coming and I know the monsters screaming and I know they wanna get me and I know they wanna rock me and I see the mouse is coming I can hear the mouse is creeping I can see them when they slide and I can see them when they meet. Hi, my name is Eva Lebenezer and you. Let me try that again. <laughs> Hi. My name is Eva Lebenezer, and you are listening to The Interview Show. Okay, so I was listening to this album today, and it is very mainstream-influenced. Uh-huh. And I was kind of surprised that you used autotune in the way that a lot of mainstream rappers do. Right. What was your decision-making process there? Like, why did you decide to go in that direction? You know, there's... I don't, I don't know. How, how many how many tracks is there autotune on? One or two? Yeah, but, you know, it's surprising. A lot of mainstream... 
I'll, I'll come at it this way. A lot of backpack hip hoppers or independent uh-huh. hip hoppers uh-huh. tend to go the opposite direction of mainstream just as like a gut reaction. Uh-huh. You didn't, and I found that interesting. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, uh, that, but that's me, though. I mean, I'm not really trying to be, uh, you know, I, I, just, I, just, I just did stuff that made me feel, made me feel good. Um, stuff that I, you know, I, I felt sounded like it suited the record or suited the song. Um, like on the Ghostbusters one, I mean, I wanted to wanted it to have a kind of a supernatural, spaced out feel, and I felt that that vocal effect, whether you call it auto tune or vocal quarter or whatever it is, um, I, I felt that that gave that record a good feel. So, um, you know, I, uh, you know, and, and then on my other songs, you know, there's nothing kind of like a per song basis i never set out like you know i'm not trying to sound like you know little wayne or t-pain or anything like that and and um i'm just trying to uh definitely just just trying to make something sound unique and different and definitely throw a curveball you know i don't i don't you know necessarily you know yeah so a lot of independent artists aren't going to do that so so i am and uh and that's how i'm i'm definitely going to always attack this music i'm going to do I'm gonna do things um, in left from left field, and I'm I'm gonna try to switch it up on people and make my every every record I make sound different from the last one. Um, and and if and if I'm doing something that sounds different or is kind of like rubbing people the wrong way or, or making people discuss it or have a conversation about it, then then I'm uh, I'm okay with that. The album is very mainstream influenced, so I wanted to throw out a couple of more mainstream rappers out there and get your reaction as a hip hop fan to what you think is especially great about any of these artists sure okay so i'll throw out the obvious little wayne um says whatever comes to his mind okay so we have devin the dude um wow uh just easy going like personality um uh smooth delivery um uh and a great voice um great producer just uh very unique definitely swollen members um, full of members, um, this, that, that dark world that they created, um, uh, you know, really, um, yeah, interesting, um, ideas kind of behind, uh, their songs. Um, great live show, great live show. And Sweatshop Union. Sweatshop Union, uh, good friends of mine. Uh, they are, uh, a great group of guys. Um, very talented uh, producers and rappers. Again, um, uh, road warriors. Um, definitely, you know, getting out there, doing their shows. Again, uh, very, very good live, strong uh, live show, which I think goes a long way in this business. Sweet, sweet. Okay, I don't know if this is true, but I read this about you today. Is it true that you rapped in a car commercial? Yes, that is true. Uh, that's funny. I don't even know. Yeah, I, some people are trying to get me or trying to get other people to put those uh, those videos on YouTube, but I don't think YouTube's ready for that yet. So. Oh, because you know what I have to ask. Can you sling a verse from the commercial? I don't know if I remember it. I think it was. Um, I I can't I can't remember it. I'm sorry. I would kick it for you if I knew it. Um, the guys that that produced and directed the Step Two video, the the Western one in Barkerville, they're actually old friends. Um, from school that that did the car commercial with it was cool i don't know how it happened or how i got that gig but i remember i, I got i got like a pretty cool uh truck um pretty fancy truck i got it for like a year i remember and then i had to like bring it back it was pretty sad but that was part of the deal i wanted the cash but um i asked for fifteen thousand dollars i did a few commercials for them and uh, instead, they gave me this truck, and they, and they paid all the insurance and everything like that. So it kind of worked out to be the same amount, but it was probably better that I got that because I, I don't know who knows what I would have spent that money on. But hi, my name is Eva Lebenezer, and you. Let me try that again. <laughs> hi, my name is Eva Lebenezer, and you are listening to the interview show. I say, uh, come on, uh, come on, uh, come on. I like a working y'all, uh, come on, uh. Everybody say it's been a long time since I left you Without a dope beat, step two, step two, step, step two, step two yeah. yeah, I'd like to welcome y'all to the Evil Lebanese show, people I still like to introduce myself as the fifth Beatle I'm still flying high like an eagle, getting high like a steeple Still lying to my people, 
Look where the f*** I've been Am I clean? Do I still lean? Well of course I do In college I should've picked up another course or two And said I'm still here with you You can say life's bittersweet That's why I'm chillin' here rolling up this mission sweet High up on the golden years Living on my golden years By sunrise I'll be rolling where the coast is clear A lot of folks so slow to pick up my motor's cold I remember sleeping under the stars in Forest Grove so where do we go from here? Blow smoke out my nose, scared crows had it closed, daddy bones scattered on the lawn. That's the type of and set I'm on. I'm away till the morning. When I'm on my way, it's time to get out of here. Get out of here. And I can't wait till the morning. Till I'm on my way, it's time to get out of here. Get out of here. And whoever I roll with. Gonna ride to the end I'ma smash some up But say let the boy in I will not let you sleep on me Not with all this heat on me Trust me boy the reaper speaks to me He says I need to get the f*** out of Dodge As far as I can go Maybe Cape Cod I don't know Maybe see Jaws in the cold Atlantic Pack my hockey bag up And say my goodbyes and never panic One day I'll return But for now I'ma burn rubber And turn the covers on my current lover Word to my mother yeah, her boy was a renegade Walking in the desert for a better day I better pray I levitate Off the face of the earth for heaven's sake When will I become a man you emulate? And not a joke waiting for his expiry date to take place Might as well turn around and stay face No matter where I go, I'm still the same Please burning the same trees I'm just what the game needs But everything that good is ain't gold Mr. Ebenezer, I know, baby That's just one of my remedies I guess you could say I've arrived for the third time Assault and battery charge with my third crime and all the bullshit man I take it in stride because no matter what they do they'll never take me alive I can't oh. wait till the morning when I'm on my way it's time to get out of here get out of here and I can't wait till the morning till I'm on my way it's time to get out of here get out of here I say uh again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Evil Ebenezer, and you are listening to The Interview Show. Nice, nice. All right. So at the end of the show, I love the artist who's the guest. In that case, that's going to be Evil Ebenezer. I would love you to pick a track off Evil Eye and tell us a little bit about it as I bring up the music. Sure. Um, well, why don't you pick? Okay. Well, my favorite is either Take Me With You or Step Two. Sure. Um, take Me With You. Um, let's start there. That was, uh, um, basically the record was coming to a, you know, I had, I had quite a few things done and, um, definitely, um, you know, was missing a few ingredients for sure. And one of them was definitely having a, a draft Dodgers production on it, or at least a stew beat. So, um, I'd gotten the beat from stew and I had written a bunch of stuff to it and, um, I'd actually had a, a female vocalist sing on the hook, um, and 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 he and he said, you know, oh okay, no, I remember what happened. He said he gave me the beat, and he's like, you know, he always demands, like he always has the craziest demands. He's like, he's like evil. He's like, you got to write the most personal song ever. You have to make it the most personal, better, more better and personal than I'm leaving. I'm like, you know, all right, you know, Stu is easy as it is to say that sometimes. it's you know, I try to explain it to him. He doesn't really understand, but I, I try to explain, you know, when you're writing a song, it's hard to just, you know, just turn on the light and just expect shit to happen. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. But anyways, those were his demands. So I had written a bunch of stuff and I got this girl to sing on. I tracked it over at uh, Stuntman's house who uh, mixed and mastered the album. And uh, and then, you know, played it for him. He was like, ah, oh, it's okay. But he's like, he didn't like the hook. So I went back and I rewrote the hook and I uh, did it on my own. And, uh, 
and yeah, and then and then the song came to be. I, I wrote up, I think I had three verses, and then he kind of chopped it up a little bit, and he made it into two. And um, yeah, really, he moved the hook over a different part of the beat. And uh, it's, I think it's one of my favorite songs on the album. Um, it kind of, I definitely, it has the best. My voices are kind of all a little bit different on the album, like different tones or frequencies. And I, I think that, um, I think that on that song, I think my voice was just the right pitch. And I, I think that it's the most honest um, song. And I think it's the most fitting for how I kind of wanted the album to be. And, and, and kind of what I want people to get when they hear my music or when they see my videos or, or when they think of, when they hear my name, um, I want them to kind of get that idea behind me when they, you know, when they hear that song, so. Nice, so we're gonna be listening to Evil Ebenezer and Take Me With You. Perfect. I don't think I'm gonna make it much longer. It feels like a long way to somewhere, somewhere. Feels like a long way to somewhere. It feels like a long way. Yo, I wanna go, I really do, I promise you. This is it for me. I know I broke in my fair share. That's no mystery. Whatever I said or done or hurt you, baby, just listen, please. I never wanted it to end this way, so just let it be. I just want everyone to like me, so it's kinda strange When some people take my kindness for weakness and kinda change I wanna move on with my life and finally breathe again No more dirty bars and greasy gloves and fools slobbering This music this is taking a toll on me that I can't express The jealousy, the long road, the broken home, the no address It's embarrassing telling people you rap like you're a tough teenager Looking to scrap, I'm an adult now Trying to play a kid's game, but to be honest with you it's Cause this kid's change I've been trying and been lying to myself for too long But now it's gonna stop So I say farewell with this song and all my life I've been living on the run I'm so afraid that I wouldn't be the one Now all my feelings inside gone numb Just don't leave me here alone Please let me come And take me with you And take me with you And take me with you Now what's left, just an empty shell Of a man who once had a dream he could sell I just wanna go back to where I come from Never again, I won't be the same one When no one can hurt me when no one can desert me, no more failures and hailstones Back to where I sailed from Just me and my dad at our cabin at the lake I would sit on the dock and daydream I could skate away from all the hate Through the mountains I would take flight Away from all the hurt I felt from being so afraid That I couldn't be myself I never knew true love before I was lost and ignored So it's hard to trust somebody I'd just rather cut somebody And every friend in my life an asshole right And all I wanted to know was real love and feel safe at night That's why I'm trying to be me And do the best that I can I know it's hard to take a stand but I am All my life I've been living on the run I'm so afraid that I wouldn't be the one Now all my feelings inside gone numb Just don't leave me here alone Please let me come And take me with you And take me with you And take me with you 